I swear to God, that shit is so annoying, bro. You gotta stop. Bro, you didn't hear me. I was following you for like two blocks. <laughs> no, bro. Ah, see you here. So, uh, you're trying to ride bikes? Did you just get a new car? Yeah, I know, but... I feel like we should try to enjoy what we can outside before it gets too cold. I enjoy riding in your car. Enjoy pitching for gas? There's one spot we could go to, if you want. Where at? Here, follow me. Usually there's like a train that passes through here. I was thinking maybe we could throw a rock at or something. Bro, I haven't seen a train pass through here since I was like seven. Yeah, I forgot to mention I haven't been here since I was a kid. Well, where are you going? Home. Oh yeah, wait. You left your baseball in my house. Yo. Yo, first one to drop it has to lick the tracks. Hell no, I'm not doing that. You literally play baseball. I mean, I used to. Why'd you quit anyway? Just stop being fun. I'll play if you join the team. You know I don't have time for that. You should quit that shitty ass job. What, and be broke? I mean... I just feel like we don't even hang out nowadays. There's more important things than hanging out. Look, I know your mom's in a tough spot right now, but it's just like, bro, we're 17. We should be like enjoying these years. Bro, not everyone has the privilege of having free time, dumbass. I'm not getting that shit. I'm counting that as you dropping balls, so. Go ahead and lick the Yo, tracks. Shut the fuck up real quick. Huh? I swear I just saw the ball bounce off the muzzle. Bro, shut the fuck up and go get the ball. Bro, what? What the fuck? Invisible to the eye. Possible to perceive. This is crazy. Yo, you can feel it over here too. I bet it's like a electromagnetic field created by the rail system or something. It literally makes no fucking sense. Then what is it? Dude, I don't fucking know. Yo, there's a fucking corner right here. No way. I swear to God, come here, feel it. Watch, it goes in there, it's like... Feel it? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, how big is this shit? Dude, it's like a invisible house. You mean a box? Houses are built in the shape of a box, dumbass. Bro, you need to record this shit. Get your camera. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're recording? 
Yeah, yeah. It just looks like you're moving your, your arms around in the air. Yo, I just felt something. What is it? I don't know, it feels like cold. Here, it's right here. Feel it or not? It's a doorknob. I told you it was a house. Is it locked? Should we go in? Wait, hold up. Don't lose where our door is. What are you doing? Where's the door? I right, hold on, back up. Nobody's home, I guess. Yeah. What are you doing? I mean, if the bike's okay, we should be chew, right? Dude, there might be like radiation or some shit. Hold on. Daniel? Daniel! This is crazy. What the fuck are you doing? What? Why the fuck would you close the door? Dude, you fucking play too much. Dude, chill. You're gonna close the door on me as a joke? I didn't. I heard it slam. I fucking got Daniel. So what should we do? I say we go home. We can tell someone we trust about all this. Do you wanna get food or something? You're trying to eat? Right now? Those chips didn't fill you up? No. And you need me to spot you? Fucking God, bro. All right. Bro, just come on. Grab your fucking bike. Grab your bike. Because we actually got to go. Can we go to Bidos? Yo! Sam! Oh, God damn, it's fucking no one, bro. Yeah. You guys hear the bell? What? Yeah, you know, I thought they said this place was a hot spot. Oh, we're kind of busy right now. Oh, I get it. I thought your family was already rich, Sam. What does that have to do? Bro, are you high? A little. But I get it. If you guys don't want to help, I'll just go find it myself. OK. Okay. I'm thinking we can tell my mom's new boyfriend. If not, uh, dude, I don't fucking know. This is fucked. You're trying to eat right now? Oh, yeah. Dude. Damn, it's night already. I mean, the days are shorter around this year, so it makes sense. Here, let's go. Yo, can I get my ball? Ball? Yeah, my baseball. Oh, yeah, you left it in my house. Yeah, I know. Can I get it? Yeah, we can go back and grab it. Huh? Daniel, you were carrying it the whole time. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, chill. We'll go back and grab it, and I'm pretty sure you can stay the night, too. What? Are we going to go tell someone about the door?
We're not doing that, Sam. The fuck you mean we're not doing that? Fuck. I'm sorry. Bro, are you crying? Yo. Are you good? The fuck are you doing? Let me help her, Sam. Daniel! Bro! Stop! Daniel! Stop! I was just out with Daniel. Okay, well, next time text me where you are, okay? Mom? Yes? Um. Okay, so, me and Daniel were down at the tracks, and uh, we found, like, this, like, invisible wall, and... We... What? Okay, so... Daniel found my baseball and like he threw it and it hit this invisible wall and we started Honey, trying to like I can't hear you. Can you just come inside and tell me what happened? Okay.
1982. Doors. Or better yet, portals. Started to appear in random parts of the world. Invisible to the eye. They are impossible to perceive. The only known indicator that one has appeared in the area nearby you is a very loud chime-like sound that can be heard up to a three-mile radius. Followed after the sound, there is a recorded 33% chance of a visitor coming through. It may look like your friend, a family member, or a complete stranger. These people arrive at our world. A strange, inconsistent phenomenon occurs. The night reaches out to every part of the planet and becomes never-ending. With no sun, damages are felt everywhere. Farms are unable to grow food. People's mental health stability begins to plummet and the world is not able to function properly. The only known way to reverse this effect is by eliminating the visitors and seizing their life. This process is often praised and rewarded by corporations, organizations, and governments.